Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about intermittent fasting, what you've heard, what you don't know, everything that I know, and just all around give you some good information in case you wanna try it or incorporate it into your lifestyle. I am constantly posting about the fast that I do and the foods that I'm eating to break those fasts, so this has been a highly requested video because so many people ask me, why are you fasting? Why are you eating this? Why aren't you eating this? You know, and there's a lot of science behind it that even I'm still doing research on, but I've seen so many benefits so that's why I wanted to make a video about this for you guys. First off, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is a cycle of eating that is broken up into periods. There's many types of fasting that you can do. The two that I'm going to talk about are the ones that I mainly do and that is the 16-8 and OMAD. So with 16-8 basically you're not eating for a 16 hour window and then you're only eating for an 8 hour window. I feel like when you do other lifestyle changes and try all these diets that seem to have results they're just not great long term because you're constantly feeding your body and it's not getting your X, Y, and Z nutrients. Like you need your carbs, you need your proteins, you need sugar, you need all the things that in a lot of other diets you have to restrict yourself from. So wrapping up the 16-8 fast, you are basically not eating for 16 hours, eating for an eight hour window, have what you want, obviously in moderation, and you're gonna see a huge difference in your lifestyle once you are more conscious and aware of when you're eating, what you're eating, and how it really affects your body. Another really common type of fasting is OMAD, which is one meal a day. With OMAD, you're not eating for 24 hours. So if you have a meal at lunchtime on a Monday, then that next lunch on Tuesday would be your next meal. So if you are going to do this, then obviously you want to eat a bigger meal for that Monday lunch. Since you're doing only one meal a day, I wouldn't recommend it right off the bat if you've never done fasting beforehand because it could be a big shock to your system. This is something you could gradually work up to. Another great thing is we all know with being healthy and staying fit, your body plateaus after a while. So if you're eating lean meats and vegetables and fruits and you know limiting your carb intake and your fats and your sugars, then yeah, your body is going to start readjusting to that and that becomes its norm. So over time, you're not gonna be losing weight and seeing the results that you were seeing a month or two before then. The great thing with OMAD is that if you wanted to switch from 16-8 to OMAD, you totally can and your body will readjust again. Both have great benefits, really just depends if you're a beginner or not, what your goals are. There's so many factors and obviously you could do a lot more research. I'm just giving you guys the basics to kind of get you through and get you started. Now that I've talked about the different types of fasting, I want to get into the benefits of intermittent fasting in general. So one of the first benefits is weight loss, of course. That's always our number one reason why we want to diet or change our lifestyle or eat healthy. With intermittent fasting, you are controlling what and when you eat. And that's a huge thing. You'll find that you're snacking less because you're eating more sustainable foods that feel better for your body and give you those nutrients that you need to have the energy to get through the day. Another great benefit is that you are going to save so much money and so much time with intermittent fasting. If you think about it, you wake up every day and make your breakfast, make your coffee, then you gotta buy lunch, then you're probably prepping your dinner, and it's just a lot to deal with and a lot to prep and a lot of time and money spent. And with intermittent fasting, you're taking out a meal, which is a bonus, and you're eating things that are going to fulfill you throughout the day, so you're not gonna be spending money on the snack machine or sodas. You definitely never drink your calories. That is a huge thing with intermittent fasting. You wanna stay hydrated and drinking the proper things to nourish your body. The third benefit for intermittent fasting, and this one is probably my favorite, is the fact that it's such a simple and easy lifestyle to keep up with. There are so many other diets and fads and trends that are going on nowadays with keto and vegan and plant-based and you know high protein. Those are great for the time being, but long term your body is going to get so tired of it and it kind of sucks, you know, if it's a Friday night and you want to go out and have a great meal, but wait, now I have to make sure that it's vegan or that I can't have meat or that, you know, there's just all these restrictions and it makes it not fun to just live your life. Intuitive eating is a key thing and it'll help you realize 
how much your body really needs to eat so you don't overeat and enjoy what you're eating instead of constantly logging your calories or thinking about it or questioning like, oh my gosh, I had a cupcake earlier. Can I really have this margarita now? Maybe I've gone over, but with intermittent fasting, you are free to kind of do as you please and still see results because you're being disciplined day to day, which is key in any type of lifestyle change. Lastly, I wanna talk about some tips to remember if you are going to start intermittent fasting or if you've already fasted before but you wanna improve or try it a little different this time, there are a couple key things that you have to keep in mind if you are going to be fasting. The first tip that is very important is to stay hydrated. So because you're not eating for a certain amount of time, your body is breaking down all the fats and foods that you've consumed from the previous day. So you need to stay hydrated so your body doesn't feel fatigued or weak. Um, you could always add in some pink salt to give you some more electrolytes. I love doing that in the mornings. Um, you can also drink green tea, which is gonna give you a little bit of caffeine and it's gonna make your body feel so nourished. And if you're a coffee drinker and you just really crave some caffeine in the mornings, you could also do black coffee it'll curb your hunger so you don't have an appetite in the morning and you won't feel like you're missing out on breakfast which is a hard thing to adjust to at first and another thing is water really does keep you full so a pro tip is to drink a full glass of water before eating a meal that way the water kind of fills you up a little bit beforehand and then if you keep eating you won't overeat because that water already has you full and so now you've eaten like the perfect amount especially after waiting so long to eat a meal sometimes you feel like you just need to eat everything you can find but essentially you don't because your body has already repaired itself and it's surviving and thriving another really important tip to remember when starting intermittent fasting is to break your fast with a protein or something that is going to help kickstart your metabolism in a good way you're not going to fast for 16 hours and then you know, feast on a pizza or pancakes, but you want something that's going to really nourish your body and build those nutrients again. So I always try to do something very high in protein, like a protein shake, add two scoops of protein, add in your collagen too, ladies, so you have great skin and nails and hair. And then also you could do rice cake, anything like fruit or something that's basically lower in sugar, but higher in protein is really gonna be key to breaking that fast and getting your body to start working for the day. Also, if you guys need any recommendations for some great healthy snacks, I would highly recommend checking out the last YouTube video that I posted. I will link it here. I did a video all about healthy snack alternatives that are great for your body and have high protein, low sugar, the perfect snack to get you through the day. My last tip, if you are wanting to start intermittent fasting, is to remember to listen to your body. Now, I know starting off on a new lifestyle change is super fun and exciting, but there's gonna be some days where you just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm really hungry today, I have a headache, you know, maybe you're on your period or you're just having a bad day and you know your body needs to eat. And I totally feel you, even fasting after almost three years, I still have those days. Your body will tell you when it's hungry and you have to trust that it's okay to go off the path of what you've been doing. You just need time to recuperate and that's totally fine. So just remember that all bodies are different. Maybe not everyone is going to adjust well to intermittent fasting. It could work for you, it could not, but it's definitely something that I would try. My lifestyle has completely changed ever since I started intermittent fasting and I am a firm believer in it. Obviously, I am not an expert. I am only telling you guys what I know and have learned from intermittent fasting. I've Done a lot of research i also have lots of personal experience so if you guys want more information or are very curious and have some questions about it i will link some articles below that you can check out also you can comment below or message me on instagram and i would be so happy to discuss it with you i hope i didn't ramble too much on this video it's something that i love because like i've said a million times already it is just such a game changer and makes you feel so great helps you stay in shape, feel good about yourself, and still eat those great foods that we love. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. I would really appreciate it. You guys have shown so much support in the start of my new channel and it has given me so much confidence and I love doing this. I have so many more fun ideas coming for you guys, so stick around and I will see you on the next video.